Hey guys, it's Coco01307 and today I'm going to be um, giving you a hair update slash review. Okay, so you all know about a week ago I did a um, tutorial video of the invisible part <laughs> using the bump it hair, the sensational bump it hair. Um, this is it in my head now and basically I wanted a short look. Um, they have one that's called the 123. But the store I went to, they didn't have it. And, you know, I'm not really familiar with a lot of stores here um, in my area. So, you know, I just kind of stuck with that store. They had the number four, which, like I said before, I'm assuming is the four because it's a four inch, maybe. I think it's a four inch. I don't know. Um, but, you know, I just was going to roll with it. So, after I installed, completely installed that in my hair, I, um, in my head, I was not happy with the look. I'll give you a picture here. And then I went back in and I decided to um, cut it some to achieve that short, choppy look that I wanted in the beginning. I'll give you a picture of that too right here. And, you know, that was cute to me, but I still want to go shorter. So, that's when I cut it um, the length it is now. And um, I'll give you a picture of that, too, because it was right after. So, here's that picture. Once I cut it um, this short, the last picture you just saw, I was very, very happy with the look I had going on. Um, and I was just happy. I really liked it. I think that's the look I would have got if I was able to um, find the one, two, three hair because, like I said, it's the shortest one. And, you know, I was just really happy with the outcome. I was kind of curious about the upkeep of the hair, about, you know, how well the curls would last since I had cut it um, so short. But, you know, the first few days, it was very fine. It was fine. I didn't have any problems. Um, I did receive some feedback of people telling me that I could um, curl it. You know, somebody said um, you could wet it, curl it, all that good stuff. You know, that was just really, really good hair. So, I think about the first few days it was fine. Maybe on day three, um, it started losing a little of its curl. And I went to curl it. I put my um, flat iron on the lowest setting. All I have is flat iron. So I put it on the lowest setting. And um, I don't have my, my hair case here, right here on hand with me. But, um, you know, I can't really remember what the lowest setting is. But basically with the lowest setting, if I'm doing someone's hair that has really thick hair, the lowest setting will not um, curl their hair. So it's, it's not a lot of heat. I could actually put my hand on it. But, um... Yeah, I used that. The first little part I did, it curled no problem. The next few sections I did, it didn't curl as well. I was noticing when I actually um, finished doing all the parts I wanted to do and I looked in the mirror up close, I noticed it had a little frizz going to it. So I just kind of chopped that up and said, okay, you know, maybe I shouldn't curl it anymore. The next, maybe two days later, and I went back to my hometown, and basically I got caught in, um, like, a sprinkler thingy. Um, you know, and it wasn't even, like, just hardcore water coming down. It was as, you know how sometimes the water splats out. It's coming out in little particles, like, it just feels misty, really. That's what it felt like. So, I got caught in that. I basically went inside, and when I felt my hair, my hair actually, well, this hair actually felt a lot wetter than my skin did. So, um, I was worried about that, and when it actually dried, it dried straight, like, terribly. So, for the past few days, I've been trying to cope with the hair, do what I can with it, and it's just going, I, it feels like it's lost its luster um, to me. You see, it's very straight. It's very straight. It's very. It's just, it's not the same at all. And I don't know. I'm just, especially on this side for some reason. I'm just not happy about it. And I actually, um, most of the time I won't use the closure that comes with packets when I do other people's hair. But I use the closure on my own head. And this closure is just pretty trashy to me. 
um, now after, you know, the stuff that, that I've been through with it. So, I'm pulling off Lola Kinks. Um, I always tease her about this. And I'm going to be taking this hair out after like a week. And it's unfortunate because I really want that short, choppy look. Maybe one day I'll come across the short hair um, that I don't have to cut so I can keep it in longer. But, yeah, I'm... I'm kind of sad about it, but I have to let it go because I don't like walking around feeling uncertain about my hair and, and yeah, it's not going to work. So, uh, I'm just messing with it while I'm on camera, but I'm looking in the mirror over here. Anyway, so that's, that's what's going on with my hair. Um, I'm not going to do another tutorial. I might just use the same braids and just use different hair, maybe longer or something. So I'm not going to do another tutorial with it. But I will come back and let you all see what hair I picked and you know my new look. And whatever hair I pick, I'm going to stick to this color for right now because I really like this color. I was planning on doing a protective style using my real hair after I took this out, but since it's been such a short period of time and I was kind of on going by this little time schedule of um, for an event I'm going to in March when I was going to wear my real hair out, I'm going to go ahead and put some more weave back in for the time. Um, yeah, that's about it. My feelings on this hair will have to be, it seems like it's good hair. If you're going to buy any of, any kind of bump collection, I would suggest you buy the specific um, length that you need for the style that you want. I wouldn't really recommend cutting it any because I feel like once I cut it, the curls didn't last. It's like, I did like a choppy look, like I said before, and there's some longer pieces in the back, which I just cut just a little. So those curls back there are still holding up. So I think, the longer, yeah, I think if you're just going to trim it just a little, then that's okay. But if you have to cut a great deal off, then, you know, you don't need to do it. You need to find the length that you need. I would not suggest curling it, you know, at all because that didn't work out for me. And you never know. I know years and years ago um, when I had some of the regular round um, curlers, I used to buy some really, really cheap ones. And when I say cheap, I mean like... I used to find like $5 and under curlers. This one I was like a teenager when I first started um, getting into doing my own hair. And yeah, if you have some of those curlers laying around, then maybe they'll work. But if you have any anything with some power on it and you think putting it on a low spin is going to save it, it's not. I want to just curl it. And yes, like I said, somebody told me, you know, you can get it wet or whatever. I wasn't just getting it wet either, cause that's when um that's when this hair really went to hell when I got wet. So I wasn't just getting it wet, and it is it does say human hair. I don't know if it's actually the human blend thing once again, but yeah, that's just my take on it. It's it's fine hair. It seems like it'll be all right. The ones that I saw, the longer um the longer ones I did, I made somebody a wig using the. 8 inch which was more like a bob kind of thing and it came out well it looked really really good and I've asked her about it and you know she's wearing it as a wig so she can pull it off put it on you know she's not trying to curl it she's not getting it wet and she's had she had nice things to say about it um as far as the upkeep of it but if you're doing it as a sew in then don't curl it don't get it wet don't try not to cut it um any more than you know just a little bit of snow don't cut it don't go from a four inch to like one inch hair or whatever yeah so that's about it and i'll see you soon with my new look bye